ఓకే అండి గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఎవరి వన్ టుడేస్ డేట్ ఫోర్ ఓన్లీ నో right <clears throat> so the last class we concluded constructors indirectly today i'll make a repetition anybody tried this and raise your hands anybody very good i also will give a solution to you from there one small information is that if anybody reading uh pin code pin code is you took in teacher after reading pin code if you are trying to read any mail id the mail id will be skipped have you observed anybody anybody getting skipping of data when you are reading from the keyboard one skip of data will come right okay i'll explain that bit clearly to you anyway so let me repeat what has been happened up to now in this three weeks actually first week is introduction week without your knowledge we came to fourth week closing right see time is how precious and if you waste the time time will be wasted you observe that i think so without our knowledge we traveled up to three weeks observe that or not now because of this reason time also we people also will be preserved uh, the time preserved will be there for me also because of this student has to work more at home when compared to here you must work more anyway the assignment few assignments what are pending i'll sit on one saturday and write it one saturday i'll do a practical class to you and that day i'll write it one saturday and what are the interview questions will be there no fibonacci series uh, reversing a number such questions will be there some important questions that we take a list and we write uh, one saturday we write it like this we do generally meanwhile our course will be going on variable method block constructor packages this is our syllabus our syllabus part will be going on your interview questions also depends upon your syllabus part but the part we are covering and coming slowly the syllabus part so in that process we covered four variables sorry four components from your java directly or indirectly i'll scroll back so on the day one i said core java will be concentrating on programming components that is java alphabets i said so on that day i given a list to you java alphabets will be seven to you today you got four alphabets variable method block and constructor i'll repeat it <laughs> data types in java are categorized into two types that is a root of your syllabus actually that there only the starting point will be there primitive data types and non primitive data types primitive means single value non primitive means group up to now under non primitive class only came remaining three not entered interface not entered array not entered enum not entered only class sir class is a group or sir means yes class can hold variable class can hold method class can hold block class can hold constructor so class is a group now so the group representation we call it as a non primitive that's what the theory so primitive data type non primitive data type under primitive we had byte uh, sorry integer data types float data types character data type and boolean data type by subcategory byte short int long float double char boolean up to now byte and short we not used anyway so they are going to be used specially moreover the flow will be going on what we are not using now at the ending we conclude them that is the way we do it so whatever we want we will use and go 
wherever we want you are using float wherever you want you are using long and going whatever the remaining parts are left at the ending we are concluding them so language means provides all the options need not be the condition we have to use them that is option that like this it provided byte and short somewhere but they had their own unique usage is there in the streams actually but you must know primitive data type means byte short int long float double char boolean this eight types comes under primitive data types the theory non primitive data types means only four class integer uh, sorry uh, class interface array and enum up to now class only still not completed going on still class construction is not over still we are constructing that's a theory now variables means variables are the data holders here data means may be value may be reference here data means may be value may be reference so variable can hold value variable can hold reference in that way variables in java majorly categorized into two types primitive data type variables non primitive data type variables the variables which are declared with the primitive data types we call it as primitive data type variables the variables which are declared with non primitive data type we call it as a non primitive data type variable only two types will be there primitive data type variables will hold value non primitive data type variables will hold object references that's the theory these variables can be declared outside the method inside the method belongs to class belongs to object like this some category is there in that way variables are categorized into two types static variable non static variable static variable means a variable declared with a static keyword we call it as static variable variable declared without a static keyword we call it as non static variable this static variable also declared outside the method you cannot declare static variable inside the method error will come now this static variable will get the memory within the class while class loading and can be accessed with the class name that's the information to you this non static variable two options are there you can declare outside the method inside the method if we declare outside the method we call it as instance variable this instance variable will get the memory within the object while object creation access with the object name the non static variable declared inside the method we call it as local variable this local variable will get the memory within the method frame or within the method you can say while method execution so theory finally by memory location variables will be only three types one in the class one in the object one in the method so static variable instance variable local variable so there are only three types of variable not more than that if anybody says fourth variable you must ask them where is the memory venkatesh sir core java trainer means language trainer said one variable will get the memory within the class one variable will get the memory within the object one variable within the method while method execution if you say fourth variable show me the memory where is the memory if anybody draws memory outside the class outside the object outside the method there is no global variables to you because of security your java language says that don't keep the memories outside for security because of this reason global variables are not there for us clear this point right now come for the method <laughs> method is an action which do some actions on some variables or values to generate some results the theory these methods also two types static methods and non static methods among non static method only one category that is instance method because methods cannot be declared inside the method outside the method of course outside the method is there inside the method not there so how many categories in the methods means only two that may be static method 
that may be non static method or instance method static method will get the memory within the class while class loading and can be accessed with the class name what is the coding rule to be remember static method will get the memory within the class can access only class variable it cannot access instance variable that's a major coding rule so the method which is declared without a static keyword we call it as non static method or instance method this instance method will get the memory within the object while object creation and can be accessed with the object name what is the coding rule now the method available in the object can access instance variable means object variable and the method available in the object can access the variable in the class because object came from the class so instance method can access both variables static variables and instance variables that is the theory behind your instance method in these two methods two types again some will come from library some we have to define means built in methods and user defined methods these methods can be with parameter without parameter these methods can be return type non return type hope you understood sir where to write parameter where must not write parameter where return type where non return you don't worry and in the real time market for you stlc software development life cycle in that software development life cycle analysis will be there design will be there then code writing will come understood now now example we called one person to construct one room example he also constructor only i called one person who is standing there come and construct one room for me he must not ask a question where i should construct a window where i should construct a door you come and see the plan design and analysis is there understood this man you know how to construct the door yes you know how to construct the window yes then you don't worry come and see the plan then he has to walk in he have to see the plan according to the plan you have to construct it you must know parameter yes sir do you know how to pass the parameter yes sir do you know method with parameter without parameter yes sir return time you practice over now yes come there is one analysis is there design is there see them and construct it that only point you need not worry about where to write how to write you need not worry every company will maintain one analysis every company will maintain one design based on that code writer will construct it understood this point now so here possibilities when you are learning a language how are the possibilities available in the language whether i am touching all the possibilities and learning or not that's called learning understood this point now in that process you know methods and here diagrams are available in your book if possible read the notebook bit clearly slowly line by line generally few students only will read the books but habit it so read the book very slowly don't see the program anyway theoretical is there line by line line by line line by line line by line read it very carefully our books will have some informations the students will ask us sir which book i must buy it sir if we can read the book and learn it why you will come here and many books are there no complete reference in java nobody can beat that book no even i also will buy every version right if we can read and analyze one book you never sit in a room classrooms not there training institutes not there colleges also not there a student can read and analyze not possible somewhere trainer needed so trainer what is doing he taking one concept on that concept we are analyzing that only you have to prepare it that only technique and that is called running notes so if you read the running notes no there some clear informations are available with one order you take any java book and the order will not be there you take any java book parameter will be somewhere variable will be somewhere method we can test it out so one order we keep it we trainers will keep inside with our experience we keep them in the order and come we like a flow we keep it that only the student will come and sit in the room why they are coming and sitting sir textbooks are available in the market but keep them in the order how to remember them that only our concept that's called live class now live class means someone now you are remembering now variable method block can one order is coming and total subject will come in the order till the ending one order we maintain 
the order is coming in that process methods has been completed to you so theory for methods we draw few diagrams one or two diagrams you observe it we drawn one diagram on variable memories you have to observe it after that we touched blocks based on methods only we bring logical programming structures while loop for loop that you don't touch it any because that is not object oriented while loop is not object oriented for loop is not object oriented if condition is not object oriented they are logical programming components attached with object oriented this logical programming components are common in all the languages c teacher will train it c++ teacher python teacher dot net teacher all will pick that logical codes the logical code is not object oriented code sir i not understood while loop keep i said i not understood for loop keep i said i not understood switch case keep i said because one day we can sit and train it nothing is there because they are available in all the languages understood this point now so sir i want to spend more in logical programming means c teacher will try uh, c teacher will spend more time in logical codes because he is not object oriented code writer he is not object oriented programmer he is a normal programmer he has to work on logical codes only so he work more on logical codes because 45 to 2 months what c teacher can do syllabus is very less no string is there array is there function is there pointer is there structure is there union is there file is there bit field is there beyond that what he can do he has to work more because he touches logical components more for us abstraction is waiting polymorphism is waiting networking is waiting multi thread is waiting we are high level components no difference you got it no because we pick that logical layer in the middle and we give some part and next week we are entering into remaining part strings are coming no monday so there we touch the remaining part so students should have this clarity in object oriented flower one silver will be going on the logic or the object oriented programmer can pick logical components logical components means only three that is selection statements iterative statements branching statements these three you can learn from anywhere this three available common in all the languages you can learn from anywhere these are common in all the languages you can pick it in that process when the methods comes one or two programs we increase some level and come right and we stop it that also again we pick that level slowly in the next coming after constructors completed today anyway id eclipse is coming today so there we pick some level and come that is the order and the process anyway you know variable you know method <coughs> then i brought block the set of statements declared within the flower bracket executed automatically is known as block automatically means as a code writer i am not calling it is running automatically is known as block these blocks are categorized in java into two types static block and non static block or instance block the block declared with static keyword we call it as static block the block declared without a static keyword is known as instance block static block is executed with the highest priority while class loading here while class loading means when the class loading completed immediately the static block will run as a meaning behind it class loads only once because of this reason static block executes only once my class loader will say good morning sir in the morning to me when i comes right again i'll come in the afternoon he never says again i'll come in the evening he never says because class loads only once my static block executes only once roughly i'm speaking I mean here also same class once came on to jvm it is available there it never goes until you shut down the jvm until you shut down the jvm when you shut down the jvm then the class will go means what class loads only once static block executes only once understood this point now right instance block is executed while object creation while object creation right with the highest priority anyway while object creation with the highest priority means what constructor is there also static instance block will have highest priority in execution this instance block is executed for all the multiple object creations if i create two objects instance block will run for two times 
if i create three objects instance block will run for three times because we made a statement instance block is executed for all the multiple object creations so theory and you had a static block you had a instance block so instance block is not available in the market means less used as a code writers we use very less but static block is having its uh, design in the real time market holding database connection codes in dao layer i made a statement to you after getting information about your static block then i started your constructors two days back constructor comes under method category having the same name of the class and executed while object creation because constructor call is available in object creation syntax and this while declaring constructor we must not use return type because constructor by default having class return type because class name is there now this constructors are categorized into only one type based on static keyword that is static constructor not there only non static constructor is available in this non static constructor parameter based on the parameter constructors are categorized into two types zero parameter constructor and parameterized constructor you understood that majorly constructors are used to initialize instance variables while object creation if we take the support of constructor and initialize the instance variables while object creation internally some execution time is saved and high performance will come yesterday is assignment that only i took three sub classes i kept one one constructor whether you are able to create objects by using constructor and passing the parameter or not i asked you to try it understood now whenever i want to say constructor importance yesterday i took a concept how many ways you can initialize the object i took a concept that concept is nothing but comparing and saying that constructor will have highest priority in your design to initialize the instance variable because it is saving the memory so, sorry saving the time so theory now here if we declare one class without any constructors compiler will add one constructor without parameters at compilation stage we call it as a default constructor so whatever the points and uh, faqs are written read it so this four should be under your control jvm i written one notes no that no need to write that jvm no need to read that jvm notes last tomorrow interview is there means then you read that jvm once among that you must remember method area heap area java stack area pc register area native method area overall the name should be remember before the interview daily remember only three parts method area heap area java stack area method area where class loads heap area where objects creates java stack area where method executes this is the knowledge gained in this 3 weeks right 6 into 3 18 days or 18 sessions understood is fine now so this is the 18 sessions class because of this reason i what happened is you, i know that if a student misses two days in a week the week will be wasted sir i missed two days in a week means he cannot understand the next class if he is not understanding the next class next class he will not concentrate all together it becomes a four days in a week and one week will be missed that impact will come to the next coming week that only happens and student will be dropped that only major the major drawback is students only because time will not see my time an example i'm frankly i'm speaking it i will release your batch by 10th april before that the batch will be released if i without any leave if i come regularly i will come any anyway. health health issue is there i'll take a break generally i'll come because i habituated to speak for 12 hours per day since 20 years for me health problem will not come because i am not a single speaker since 20 years i'll speak 12 hours per day so for me threat will not come i'll take care i drop i stopped drinking that cold drink since 8 years to save my tone that's different issue so that issue will not be any urgent is there to take but we concentrate on the batch because your batch number is how much only 129 right before that 128 tomorrow within 3 days i am releasing 127 i am releasing after 127 batch i am releasing by 12th i am releasing 28th 27th i am releasing 
next batch is yours only so i'll be releasing the batches by the number and coming so i'll be concentrating on the syllabus if any batch is deviating out of my plan i'll call on sundays understood this point if any schedule missing out of my scope so i this match is this batch is going out of my plan if i feel it i'll call on sundays for 3 hours i said this point starting only understood this point uh, since two weeks i am working already since two weeks why means last batches i affected with covid actually you know or not i don't know i i affected with covid and after covid immediately were my first batch after covid the first batch i stepped into this dias after covid recover so before covid i started one or two batches there for me one week break came no before that pongal break 15 days lagging is there for batches i am working since two sundays to compensate the time like this your batch is comfortable still it is in under my hand only because since one month we are coming regularly no right yesterday i, I took one break on 24th 24th i took a break that break also i am trying to compensate it i plan it like this our batch will be going with the syllabus under our control okay right this practical but whatever the pending is there one saturday maybe on 12th one saturday is coming that saturday we are planning for practical if not 20 or 19th one sunday will come not sunday saturday will come that saturday we plan for practical class that's a plan okay right with this all information i am going forward so after completing variables methods blocks and constructors next one is classes actually sir we are under classes only we are under class only because class only holding variable class only holding method class only holding block class only holding constructor you cannot declare variable you cannot declare method you cannot declare block you cannot declare con constructor without a class not there we are under class so that class construction completed actually right completed means some part it is completed so but according to the rules in java the class should be under one package the class should be under one package but daily you are practicing a class without a package observe or not now you are creating class running class but answer is coming but according to the rules of project the class should be under package now we are giving training to you creating packages and how to load the class under that packages that's the training make a siding packages in java next topic packages in java we are having packages in java star mark imp packages in java package is a collection of classes and interfaces package is a collection of classes and interfaces underline the term classes and interfaces package is a collection of classes and interfaces packages in java are categorized into two types packages in java are categorized into two types packages in java are categorized into two types built in packages
user defined packages built in packages and user defined packages built in packages and user defined packages built in packages and user defined packages make it built in packages the packages which are available from java library are known as built in packages or you can say predefined packages the packages which are available from java library are known as built in packages or predefined packages built in packages or predefined packages or predefined because already available the packages are already available the following are the following are some important packages the following are some important packages from java library the following are some important packages from java library so core java packages core java packages indirectly java dot lang lang means language package this package we call it as default package default package means if you don't write that package also the package is available to you that's called default default means automatically available for you that's called default package java dot lang java dot util utility package utility package this utility package is used for java collection framework from utility package you are using scanner class daily daily you are bringing one scanner class from util and you are using when are you are using a scanner class we are importing java dot util dot scanner you are writing or not now but java dot lang you never written anywhere because that is default available to you from lang package any classes came in yes string class system class will come from lang package your string class and system class belongs to lang but we are not writing import java dot lang dot system import java dot lang dot string we are not writing because there is a default package default means automatically available to all the classes it's called default sir like this how many default packages are there means only one java dot lang is only one default package remaining all packages you have to import them you have to import them right okay java dot io java dot io this package is files package actually we write io streams io streams and files package we say here stream means flow input flow output flow that's the meaning the deals about input flows and output flows and it deals about file storage that's called java.io it is a separate concept to you see that 
now you are waiting for the concept still we are under object oriented still we are under object oriented so we have to go for exception handle we have to go for multi thread we have to go for java collections data structures then you have to go with io streams and files a separate means your java program interacting with the files or last part that is right okay right so still we are under object flower once a object oriented completed remaining all will come inside remaining all are applicative applicative means the knowledge you are using there that's the concept object oriented programming not ended because exceptional link not ended because still i don't know object oriented not sir because still interface not entered no sir so once it is entered then remaining all applicative applicative means the knowledge of object oriented i'll apply there for collection framework i'll apply there for networking remaining four comes under applicative so they are very small things only 3 3 days 3 3 days we cover it once you complete this object oriented only biggest thing 80% of course depends upon object oriented because still interface not entered abstract class not entered inner classes not entered inheritance not entered references not entered that flower not entered still so still object flowers are pending observe that right so when you come to io streams and files we are going to train the student how it interacts that package is java.io package from now only course will be interesting and this one month course is very important very up to now the three weeks are the base you are constructing base for the remainings so this one month class will be means almost four weeks will be very interesting and many levels will come there only actual flower is available all will come in this four weeks only multi threading will come collections will come inheritance will come inner classes will come interfaces will come even arrays will enter so all will enter in this four weeks in this four week schedule almost four means six six 12 means 24 sessions remaining in this 24 sessions remaining all components will be entering so this part will be, we are entering into next level package we are bringing package means you are ready you are ready you know variable you know method you know block you know constructor you know class you know package you are ready for the next level that's the meaning actually we are preparing for the next level of introductions that only happening now so java.io is the third package we had io streams and files now java.net here .net means networking package this is networking package networking package this four packages this four built in packages comes under core java category anyway now advanced java category java dot sql database connection package database connection package it will help us to connect to the database java x dot servlet here java x java x means extension library library extended java library extension java library extension we call it as java x so servlet programming java x dot servlet dot jsp that is jsp programming jsp programming
So these are the popular, important built-in packages coming from library. Now, user-defined packages, star mark IMP, user-defined packages. The packages which are defined by the programmer. The packages which are defined by the programmer are known as are known as user defined packages. Sometimes you can say custom packages. You can say custom packages. The packages which are defined by the programmer are known as user defined packages or custom packages. Whenever we want to create this user defined packages, we use Package keyword, we use package keyword to define user defined package. To define user defined package. The syntax is package keyword and give the package name package keyword and give the package name right Now, to explain this package, let us write one program now. Okay, right. When the packages are coming, the term will come. Java project, the term will come. Now, I am introducing Java project. Inside that Java project, packages. Inside that packages, classes. That is the rule. That is the construction rule. First package name will be there. Inside that package, sorry, first Java project name will be there. Inside that project name, package name will be there. Inside that package name, we had a class name, right? Okay, like this. Let us take one project. Let us take one project. You can take any one project name. Some bookstore, I will take one project. I will take one project name as a bookstore. If not employee details, if not student details like this, you can take any. From today, you are going to create project names. Project name means project folders indirectly. One project name you are going to create it. Now, under this project, I am taking two packages I am taking. Generally for a demo purpose, I am taking two packages I am taking. One package name is always I will take P1, one package name. One package name is P2. So this P1 and P2 
are the packages. So inside this P1, I will take one class. Inside this P1, I will take one class. The class name is some book data. I will take it. I will take one class as book data. I will take one class. In bracket to represent I am writing it is a class. Okay, right. Book data. Inside this book data, I will take some book code. I will take it. Book name. I will take it. Book author. I am taking only four, three fields I am taking. Roughly, right? Book author I am taking. Book name, book code, book name, book author. They are instance variables anyway. By yesterday you know, to initialize that instance variables, three ways are there. You can take a setter method. You can take a constructor. You can access with the object name, your wish. Which one is flexible? You can do no restriction. Up to advanced Java, no restriction you can do. When you come to the project only, they'll say what to be taken. Until then, you can practice. Anything you want, you can practice. No restriction. But here also live project is there now for you. Web services with Spring. They go with enterprise application. Live project is there for you for NASCAM people. When the live project comes, the trainer will give a specification to you what to do. And he is going to divide the teams also. So the students who are attending that live project, if you are confirming attending regularly, not like our, no, we here we never ask whether you are coming regularly or not coming regularly, we never ask. But when you come to the project, they'll ask it, whether you'll come regularly or not. They will ask it. Because students will not have a patience, they will not come. So there we collect the data. Are you, if you are regularly coming, I'll put you into team. No, sir, 10 days I'll come, sir. After 10 days examination is there, sir, I'll go and come, sir. I mean, they will not take it. They will ask you to come with the next regular time. So student has to spend some time when the output should come. If you don't spend in a regular time, means some regular practice or regular time is there, no output will come. If you miss something, if you cannot do something, automatically connection will be missed out. So there we make a teams. So we give a task to the team. What you have to do, what you have to do, what you have to do. All these three bring together, we combined it. So how we are combining, what we are doing, the training will be done. To combine that, what tools we are using, where we are deploying, where we are maintaining, like this, we give a training that. So there some work will be available. There we give the specifications to initialize the object, what to do. Whether this variable should be in the class, in the object, we decide it. Understood this point now. Their specification will be very clear. Here, up to advanced Java, no restriction. Whatever the flexibility is there, whatever the code writing idea is there, you can write it. So you can initialize object in three ways. I am using constructor. What I am using now? Constructor I am using. Book data A comma B comma C. Roughly, I am taking that variables because I want to initialize three variables. I am taking ABC. So, definitely, whenever I want to display the data, I will take it as get book data. I will take it. So, these are the components available in the book data. Right? Okay. The book data is under one package P1. Package means one folder indirectly. Now, my main class, because main class, that is one subclass, no? Right. Main class needed now. So, I am taking main class in P2. I am taking main class in P2. So, I will take this main class as book data, book data, main class. Roughly, I am writing like this. Book data, main class. Of course, only one method is there. Public static, void main, only one method is there. Observe this point now, right? So there book data is there. Here, book data main class is there. Now, from the library, from the library, from the library, from the Java library here, from the Java Java represents Java library. From this Java library, 
many packages are there among that one package is util yes or no one package is util now under this util package many classes are there under that one class is scanner one class is scanner scanner class this is now scanner class has many methods so next byte method dot 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 next line method like this many methods are there or not now see there java library different our java project different among that project three packages sorry two packages one is p1 and p2 clear everyone right so this is i am going to do it now now i'll start it as creating java project using ide eclipse how many of you downloaded yesterday raise your hands right okay now i am writing it star mark imp creating java project using ide eclipse ide eclipse creating java project using ide eclipse so ide means integrated integrated development development environment development environment integrated development environment don't use intellij don't use netbeans but all don't use it and use ide eclipse because it will be look very simple you have to start with the simple you must not go with very high level what you cannot understand that you have to start from here ides will be common for all if you start with the low level and you must go first you started with edit plus now we are entering into ide eclipse after that netbeans intellij slowly because lot more courses pending no so slowly slowly you will get grip on your ids slowly some students will download latest one they don't know what how to use it if you don't know how to how, how to use it why to download it then if you know it only you must download it generally if you don't know how to work it you must not download it because you don't know how to work it no sir what do you know you know edit plus you must download edit plus and work it so now you are entering into id eclipse take it in advanced java one part in eclipse sorry in spring one part in web service one part at last project when you reach to the project all will be under your control slowly one by one one by one one by one at last the student will get knowledge on three four ids now you are entering into id integrated development environment step one right look here so whenever you downloaded your eclipse whenever you are downloading eclipse actually see there here if you click on www.eclipse.org here this is the official one eclipse or eclipse downloads you can clip it click on it here one installer will come actually this is one installer actually here download one installer will come you click on the download within few milliseconds the installer will be downloaded click on that installer it shows the options which id you want it right so in that java developer and enterprise web or enterprise java means wherever you can see enterprise word is there you can develop it sorry you can download it see in my system also two versions will be there here id for enterprise java and web developers 
web developers id for enterprise java and web developers here same eclipse only here id for java developers i download it that id for java developers i'll be using for core java enterprise developers i'll be using for your advanced java i kept separately to decrease the load in my system right sitting in core java you can download any one no restriction for you got it right no restriction you can download it download means what when you click on installer it will ask you which one you want it you must select it i want id for java developers or id for web developers or enterprise developers two options will be there you have to click it then within few milliseconds it will be installed right after that extract it uh, you install the .exe file is there click on it installation while inside it ask a question to you can i create one shortcut on the desktop click on auto this auto selections automatically icon will command your desktop so this is your icons icons now what is the step one means open id eclipse open id eclipse open id eclipse eclipse while opening name the workspace here workspace means working folder c drive e drive somewhere one working folder open id eclipse while opening name the workspace and click click launch click launch while opening name the workspace and click launch so why i am introducing eclipse today friday actually today actually why means by today tomorrow by sunday eclipse typing should be ended monday you should not have a doubt why means monday string is coming inside strings are coming inside strings we are working with id eclipse so this is a three days time is there for you to get clarity what is happening in the eclipse that's all it should be over that's a plan i'm introducing today okay right open id eclipse while opening name the workspace click launch see i'm launching i am opening my eclipse i'm double clicking see there for me auto opening will come from today don't open edit plus because the journey ended okay right don't open your command prompt journey ended all are inside the eclipse from today remaining all chapters are under eclipse for me auto opening came actually for you one window will come the window i'll show it for you first time no for you one window will come other like this one window will come to you for you workspace one window will come now here 7 am Seven a.m. One twenty nine. I am taking NASCAM one twenty nine. Your batch number I am giving there. Okay, right. Now workspace means folder where you are working. E drive, D drive, F drive. I created demo one twenty nine. No, like this, I am creating some folder there. Here one option is there. No launch, right? So name the workspace. Click on launch. So it creates the folder and come. it go to the a drive create one folder and come back it takes some time id you know it has to collect all uh, libraries and come it is it only will look all the libraries and bring it so it brought all the libraries to you 
now right here one welcome window will come anyway welcome to the eclipse id for java developers okay right here one cancel button is there cancel it click on close it has been closed clear now that is a window file here we have to create the project here we have to create the project in this window the project should be created now comes step 2 step 2 <coughs> create create java project create java project create java project what is the java project i decided now bookstore roughly it took one name right i am going to create one java project name is bookstore i am going to create it okay right see there create java project how to create java here create one java project option will be there anyway beyond that i'll show internally here click on file here here one option is there no file click on file new here project one option is there can you see here for me java project directly coming because daily i'll be working with eclipse admin only starting batches i'll type in edit plus remaining all up to advanced java per day i'll run six batches no in that six batches now your batch is entering into eclipse remaining all batches by default you can touch any my senior java student he will be attaching server and he will be running he also came from your stage only you come to 11am batch and they'll be running servers through eclipse they'll be running one or two servers they'll be running starting will be complexity one or two practices over we also my students will run servers directly from the eclipses you also will run it don't worry within one month anyway now i am entering into file new here so i am running daily many java projects no? so for me auto reflect is coming for you will not come so you have to select project here can you see project right so click it like this write the point so click on click on file new project you can see the option project in that project you can see the option java under that you can see under that you can see java project you can see click on file new project under that project option is java under that java you had a option known as java project means you have to select that java project i'll show it see there now click on file new project here can you see option java right java click on java can you see java project select this java project click on next like this write it select java project and click next click next name the project after that give the project name name the project and click finish click finish name the project and 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 click finish see there i am naming the project now i'll come back once again click on file new project java select java project click on next name the project here bookstore is the project project name don't touch the remaining fields it only will take automatically 
I am using 16, Java 16, it, take, it only taken automatically. Your uh, JRE will be taken automatically, it only will take it. You don't touch anything, just to give the project name. Here one sub, can you see the button here? Finish, click on finish. Automatically the project created. But here, very careful, here, new model information, dot Java. Here you create, don't create your mess, the Douglas. You must say, don't create. Remember this point. Don't create. Any window is there. Don't create. If you are not understanding, tomorrow clarify. Bring your laptop and clarify it. Tomorrow it should be clarified. Saturday. Okay, right. So here my project is created with name what now? Bookstore. Here bookstore. Auto reflection of library. This is Java library. Eclipse will bring all your library and give integrated development environment i only will bring what you wanted that only eclipse so it, it only will bring what you wanted so it brought total java library it is brought it anyway so it is available so project is created here it is a project sir after creating project next what sir create packages how many packages are now p1 and p2 so create package Create packages in project. Create packages in project. Make it step three. Create packages in Java project. Create packages in Java project. Right. Sir, where I should create in Java project? Here, one SRC will be there. This is Java project bookstore. Click on it. You can find SRC. SRC means source code. SRC means source code. Means you are writing the code there actually. In this SRC, you have to create a package. Means Whenever you want to create a package, make it right click. Right click on SRC new package comma name the package and click finish. Name the package and click finish. Right click on SRC, new package, name the package and click finish. Now repeat this process for number of packages. How many packages are there? You must repeat it. See there now. Right click on SRC, right click on SRC, new. You can see the option here, package. Can you see here? Package. Click on this package. Here name. Name that package now. Package name is P1. Package name is P1. Click on finish. Here one package. This is the package created. Observe this all of you. Right. The same way I must create P2 now. I must create P2. Now right click on SRC. New package. I am creating P2. Click on finish. P1, P2. Two packages created. Sir, after creating packages, next what, sir? So, in the diagram, in each package, one, one class is there, no? Right. Here, book data is there. Here, book data main class is there. Now, create classes in packages. Create classes in packages. Make it. Step 4. Create packages, sorry, create classes, classes in packages, create classes in packages, create classes in packages.
now look here the package should be created sorry the class should be created under package so right click on the package so here according to the diagram p1 is holding book data p2 is holding book data main class so create book data first create book data first so right click on p1 means what here point is right click right click on package new class name the class name the class and click finish name the clock sorry name the class and click finish right click on package new class name the class and click finish right see there i am doing it out now i will take p1 package i am taking right click on p1 new can you see here class class here name the class now class name is book data what is the naming convention of class the starting letter must be capital suppose if i write b lower case here one warning will come then type name is discouraged by convention java type names usually start with an upper case means what eclipse is understanding the java rules now book data click on finish now the class will be generated with a very small font package package name p1 under that sir increase the font to increase the font i am writing the step to you you have to record it make it note n o t note to increase to increase screen font screen font click on window click on window see there here one option will be there can you see window here all of you click on window can you see preferences you have to click on preferences click on window preferences after clicking on preferences you can see general can you see general here click on general click on general under general you can see appearance you can see appearance appearance under appearance see there colors and fonts click on appearance can you see colors and fonts colors and fonts to increase screen font click on window preferences general appearance colors and fonts now click on this colors and fonts when you click on this colors and fonts you can see java here can you see java right so click on that java after clicking on this java you can see the option now java editor text font you can see java editor text font font you can click on that dot 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 remaining you can understand by clicking
okay see that i am clicking java editor text font remaining you know no right so select bold i am selecting bold i am going with 22 click on okay apply apply and close size increase no getting or not now right so whenever you want to see the big screen and just double click on this tab it will be seen again you click it, it will be minimized listen now now here you type the program this is the program see there package package name what is the package name now p1 so create package the syntax is what now package package name you given one package name your eclipse created sir why public came here from today all the classes will be public so definition will come tomorrow because public protected default the definitions will come by tomorrow today all are public the class is public inside this class i am taking variables so public string book code book name book author so that is public now public one constructor book data here string a string b and string c this is one constructor now book code is equal to a book name is equal to b book author book author is equal to c now public so whatever the methods you are writing you must write public only all are public i'll give the reason right public void get book data book data one method here see that system dot one window is coming now it is saying that i only will show the total library to you so system dot you said no in the system what is available i am showing to you whatever you want you select it so eclipse will be helping you 80% work will be done by the eclipse error free code will come you are getting some compilation errors no sir error is coming sir you are correcting again you are going back again you are running or not now that headache not there from today because eclipse will correct it it shows one red mark there if you are not understanding you can keep the cursor on that red mark it will give a idea to you what to do so eclipse id eclipse ids will give a error free code out very fastly so here i want system dot out system dot out dot see auto reflection from the library whatever you want like this the total library will be shown whatever you want you can show it out here spelling mistakes will not come because it only will show to you say so say that starting letter automatically the method will come out it only close the open floor bracket 50% you write remaining 50% it will do so it only will be doing the work in the background to you because that is the advantage of eclipse why you not given starting sir starting means you must type manually you know lkg students should do manual no if all are automated what happened today our virtual intelligence sir becoming weaker and artificial intelligence becoming stronger because we are bounding ourselves to the smart areas no very easy as there means human being will go there sir that course is very easy sir i'll go there hard is there means i will never come sir because i never work for working not there easiness i will not write i will not listen i will not come but i want 6 lakhs per annum sir i will not work sir per day 4 hours i cannot sit i will not come to the classes regularly i will not write the notes also i will not do your assignments but i want 7 lakhs per annum how it is possible at without working without writing without hard work how it is possible student will ask us sir how much the company is paying us first you say what is your capability 
whether you are worth enough to take seven lakhs and eight lakhs. The company will pay you if worth if if you are worth enough to eighteen lakhs, they'll pay you only. Java developer can reach up to twenty eight to thirty five lakhs. You can reach it. Under the mind will be blasted. That is different issue because without work, who will give only? Management criteria without resource producing a code, who will pay you? Maybe for six months or eight months they'll pay you freely. They'll test you. If he cannot work on bench, after that on road. First the term is on bench. On bench meaning is on road indirectly. I'll pay you and give a choice for three months. After that decide it whether you can produce it or not produce it. Because I am not going to pay you. If you go out, one more will come. Because per year thousands of engineers on the road. We can pick it. Yes or no? Right. Because of this reason, we Java trainers at least for a few days will give the manual code. That only edit plus. At least you will learn it. Now I am introducing Eclipse. From now, all auto reflections only. String class, these many methods will be there. You cannot remember because I am bringing ID Eclipse. Once you say string dot means it shows all the methods to you. From that you can select. You want concat method, ah? You had comparison method, ah? You had substring, ah? You had equals, ah? You had combat that will show you. You can pick it. For that I am giving this ID Eclipse to you. It is a auto reflection area. Indirectly, I am printing book details. Book details I am printing. Now, system dot system dot out dot print ln. Now I am printing uh, b code. I'll write B code lower case here. It gives error there. One red mark will come. So it is compiling my code parallelly, and I can see there why this red mark came. I can see there. B code cannot be resolved to an variable. Please scratch check it. Is giving the information there only? No. I'll see the spelling. Spelling is a B code C capital. No. I can write C capital means. Code writer can correct the error while typing. Here, what happened after typing? I am going to edit uh, compiler, sir. I am running twenty-five errors are coming. I am confused, sir. Here, their only error will come. That is the advantage. So he can rectify that and go forward. That only we say error-free code. That is the flexibility we had. Anyway, while you are typing, you will be experiencing more. If you know how to, your resume also must be updated with IDs. How many IDs you must know? You know you must update. Now you know ID Eclipse after ten days. After that, I'll I'll train NetBeans. I'll train IntelliJ. Like this, I know IDs. List you must write it. I can I worked on these IDs. Why means company will count that because if you know ID, you can produce the code more fastly. No sir, I worked on Notepad sir. Black and white screen means no no. Still, you are in the nineteen nineties and nineteen ninety fours. So on that day, the IDs are not there. They worked for you. IDs are there, no? So at least the student should know one or two IDs. Today scenario. Now, B name anyway. Now here system dot out dot print ln. Here, uh, what is this? B author. B author here. B author we had. Okay, fine. Look here. After this class typing has been completed, now, now what is the next class now, sir? Book data main class. Can I create book data main class now? Right. Now this program created under P one. Now I am creating under P two now. Right click on P two. Right click on P two. New and class. Class name is what now? Book data main class. Book data main class. Main class means public static void main must be there now, right? Here one option is there now. So public static void main. Check it. Means select select that. Select that. Click on finish. Now main class is loaded with public static void main. All of you understood this now, right? 
now i am importing scanner no daily i am importing scanner no right sir why you are importing scanner see the diagram why you are importing scanner means sir scanner is sitting outside my package scanner is not available in the p2 package no yes or no na in the p2 package main class is there scanner is available outside or not now i am importing i am importing this is import import scanner from where from util where is util util belongs to java so import java dot util dot scanner i am bringing the scanner into my class understood this point now right okay now without importing if i write scanner error will come no as a no na system dot in right right here it says i cannot be resolved to a type scanner cannot be resolved cannot be resolved means i cannot identify it as a component okay right now i must write what now import java dot util see it is giving all the packages which package you want java dot util dot scanner i am importing or not now right now i want to create object for employee sorry book data book data some bd is equal to new book data i am creating it says error book data not available in the p1 no yes sorry book data is not available in the p2 no yes or no na again you have to do importing or not now so if it is not available you must do what now sir i must do import so which class is not available that should be imported sir daily you are not importing sub class because both are available together only no sub class above main class down both are sitting together so not important but today book data outside the p2 now i am importing so import how to import now import book data book data belongs to which package now p1 so p1 dot to book data import p1 dot to book data don't write java dot to p1 because p1 not belongs to java no right simply you say that book data belongs to p1 see there here import import p1 dot to book data error will go why error is coming here means constructor call the constructor book data is undefined means what sir you must call the constructor with parameters no yes or no na this is one constructor call so their constructor is with parameter no so here read the data now so system dot out dot print ln enter the book code i am reading into one local variable string book code is equal to s yes dot next line see methods are coming at the total scanner methods are coming start next line daily i'll be typing a projects only within 1 2 hours because of eclipse because 50% work me right in a single sessions will be typing the projects here because of fast code writing of this book name here book author book author now i must pass as parameter no here that only you practiced yesterday no yes or no na book code book name book author now call the method for execution now bd dot get book data or the program is ready understood now the new thing today is nothing but sir you are using import for your sub class 
Understood now? So here I am going to write the definitions about import. Import definition, types of import. What is the difference between import and include? In the C language you had include or not now? We will write the definitions here. And why you used public? What is public? What is protected? What is default? What is that? What is that? Private. So these definitions will be given here. Got it right? Now let me run this program now. Before running it, right, look here. Now, after the class construction completed, step five, make it execute the program. execute the program how to execute the program means open main class open main class click on run click on run and run open main class click on run and run Open main class, click on run and run. Option is there. See there? I am running. Open this main class. This is main class open only you now here. This is main class. Can you see run here? Beside this window you had run here. What happened? What happened? Line number, line number six. This is not error and warning. This hello mark. Huh? Line number you said. Line number 11. Huh? Book author. Okay. Spelling mistake. Right. Okay. Now, uh, I am running now. This is the main class now. Click on run. Here one more run is there. No, run it. There one window will come, side. Enter the book code. A121. Enter the book name now. So, C language. Other. Bala Guru Swami. Yeah. Answer is coming now. Right. No edit plus. No command prompt. The compilers. Everything available here only. Integrated development environment. They are only writing, they are only saving, they are only executing. That's called integrated development environment. You can see the output side. If I want to run it now, again you run it. Click on run, run. Run there only. How many number of times you want to run it, you can run from there. Here book name, author, roughly. Getting or not now? This practice you have to make it. I'll attach this program to you. Run it and come. Okay, right. So, uh, type the program and run it and come. So, example program, I'll attach it. So, project name, package names, I'll write it and send it to time is over. Take a break. Okay, right. Why we are rushing means new batch now. The students will be waiting. Almost one will be there. Right. Okay, right. Thank you very much for today. So run it and come. I'll attach these notes to you very clearly by 1.30. Okay, right. Okay.